to Desert Isle Crafting. I'm Christy. Good morning, everyone. How are you today? Today is Friday. Yay. Um, April 28th. I hope you have nice plans for the weekend and that the weather is going to be good where you're living at. It's warming up here a little too fast, but um, it's still a beautiful day outside. So what I have for you today, I'm so happy about because I have fan cells for you today. And there was a delay on making this video because one of the items was out of stock. I had to wait for them to send it to me so I could give you the complete video instead of little pieces here and there. I've got a couple cross stitch kits for you and some accessories. If you've never been to fan cells, you have to check them out. They are extremely budget friendly. Their variety is massive huge. They sell all kinds of diamond painting and crafting and cross stitch and it's a really long list. They have specials and coupons all the time. Please check out their website. I think when you open it up, coupons will pop up. Um, they have a special on shipping. I really, really love fan cells. I've never been disappointed in anything I've gotten from them other than that one brand of kit that has a lot to be desired. I'll just say that. But I don't think I have any of those for you today. Let's get going on this, but before we start, if you like this video, please hit the like button. Please subscribe if you haven't. Please think about that. And thank you and welcome to all my subscribers. I could not do this without you. I have been getting amazing emails from people who watch my channel showing me their work and their projects. I love it. I love it. It inspires me. It makes me so happy to see. I really encourage any of you I would love to see your work and as long as YouTube won't let you post photos in the comments sending them to me in email is about the only way that you can do that so if you want to show off your work a little bit and if you'd like um, to let me see what you're working on send me an email I'd love to see that if you also have any suggestions or ideas of what you would like to see comment below or send me an email right it's all down below in the link so today with fan cells, I don't know if I have a discount code. If I do, I will post it down below in the description. So I have two kits here. Now I showed you, this is hydrangeas. Hyd did I say that right? Hydrangeas? I love them. I, I just love them. This is a, a pastel hydrangea kit. Remember, um, Recently, I did a pastel tulip kit, which is what I'm actually sewing, stitching on right now. And it looks like a watercolor painting. So let me take this out of the plastic. Sorry about the noise. Some people love it, some people hate it. Now this is a generic kit, and I used to hate these, but I like them now because they've just improved so much. So here is the picture. I will put a picture down here in the corner for you to see it a little bit better. It's just all different shades of hydrangeas. It's very watercolory. Looks like a piece of art. It is so pretty. It comes with the instructions. The pattern is big, which is wonderful. They used to be small. They have really improved on their patterns. All your directions. This is a great kit for a beginner. Everything you need to know from separating your floss to picking your, the right colors to stitch diagrams. You may only use a full stitch, but they're there for you anyway. How to soak your canvas when you're all done to get the ink out of it. And it does work great. I've done it. And tips, little tips and tricks. Let's look at this pattern. This is a big pattern. I wonder if it's as big. We'll measure and see if it's as big as the actual um as the actual cloth very very clearly printed it has 44 colors in this picture so the detail is going to be beautiful it gives you the number of the floss you'll find on your floss card your symbol on this pattern your dmc code in case you run out and then a color chart which i always think is a little extra added bonus what it also tells you on the pattern is that it is an 11 count the item number in case you get need to get a hold of customer service and fan sales has awesome customer service the size which is a 40 by 50 and that it's 148 stitches wide by 191 stitches tall 
it's gridded just like your fabric will be so in case you need to double check on a a stitch um, a symbol you can use the grid to find your spot and find and just clarify the um, the symbol sorry I can't think straight today for you so great great pattern we're gonna see if it is as big as the actual cloth itself and I'm gonna measure this too okay so 4550 it's a good size and in inches now the actual picture itself not the fabric but the picture itself is going to be mm, just about 13 and a half inches across by about 17 and a half inches down of course with something that has this many colors and is so detailed there is going to be a lot of confetti but then again you've got your areas where they give you a number where that's a good color blocking area some good color blocking areas over here too and then wow look at here up here on the top that number 44 is 3865 so that is a real light color it's all searched along the edges I am so thankful when I see that that they take the time to do it it is greatly appreciated now let's just see on this pattern how close it is to full size so it is a little bit smaller but hey that's okay because it's still so big and so easy to read that it's not a problem so now I want to check out this floss because the colors in these hydrangeas are beautiful these generic kits give you a nice little toolkit the only thing missing out of these are some snips or some scissors but you've got your your little threader you've got your little adjustable thimble and then you've got your poofy ball with it should be about five needles yeah about five needles there so yeah they want to make sure that you got everything you need to do this project so I should suggest that they put snips some kits from Aliexpress do include little snips with them but boy wouldn't it be nice if we could get kits that came with like these that would just be great, wouldn't it? And they're not that expensive. They could do this. Maybe I'll make a suggestion. Let's look at the pretty, pretty floss. And I like the fact that they bag the floss up, up separately in the kit from everything else. Okay, so I see right off the bat we've got some hanks of 3865, which is what's going to go in all the blue areas, number 44, for your background. So each hank has 40 strands in it, and you'll see it's got the DMC code right here. This is an 11 count, so these are six strand floss. You will separate that. And I find the quality with this brand is really good. I can separate my floss in groups of three and just go down the middle and I don't get tangles I don't get snarls I don't get knots it separates really easily I think um, that's pretty good quality now look at how pretty these colors are my goodness sakes they are just so pastel is about all I can say pastel so pretty oh my goodness sakes okay let's see what we got here so on this little card we've got gorgeous blues that's a super 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 light green what number is that that's 3758 I think white greens blues mm, 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 I love it oh now here come the purples look at the pretty purples and the blues and then we have some pink over here with some turquoises and some more blues hey if you like blues and purples this is the kit for you because there's plenty plenty of them 
I like these new style kits, pictures that they're coming out, kit pictures, whatever, with um, the pastel -y flowers. And the tulip one is coming along really, really nicely. I've started it kind of at the bottom and I'm kind of working across and working up and I'm just going to go that way because then what I do, because this is rather stiff, you can roll it up. You can do everything with it you want to make it softer, except get it wet. Don't get it wet because these symbols will smear and then you'll be stuck using the pattern to do the kit. So I am not going to bag this up right now, but I am going to set it aside. This kit is absolutely gorgeous. I will have the price down below for you to see how much it costs. It was not expensive because that's just fan sales. Their prices are awesome. Now, as far as accessories go, I got this set. It's three pieces of these floss organizers. Why did I do that? Because as an example, these are on paper stock. And I have been known to pull a little bit too hard and rip. So to alleviate that, I can transfer everything over because these are all numbered and tie the threads, take them off of here, tie them onto here, and it goes all the way up to 111. These are huge. They have a whole lot of holes in them. And then they're not going to rip when I pull a little bit too hard. So, yeah, a set of three. I will have the price down below. But not a bad price. Um, gosh, I, I wish I knew what that was off the top of my head. I apologize. But I will have it in the description. Nice, hard plastic. Can get many, many uses out of this. And I love the fact that they're numbered already. Okay. What else did I get? Okay, this is a new needle threader that Fancells has. They have come up with a couple different ones. The next order, I will get the other one that they had. I thought this was really, really cute. So this is a needle threader that got a little bent. I guess I can straighten that out. I like using this type of a needle threader, but then it has the two different size hooks over here. And then over here is a thread cutter, which I think is just an excellent idea. So let's say, let's give it a try. So let's say you got everything all in one. You don't have to have a pair of scissors separate. You've got your threader and your little cutter here. And yep, it did cut it. I just wasn't holding on to it right but if you've got you know the back of your project you've got your thread pulled up go like this it will cut it and it's all in one they also come in other colors so I think this is a little handy dandy thread cutter and um, threader all in one what a great idea hard plastic easy to hold on to so I like to use this if I have a tiny a tinier needle it seems to fit through better than something like that. So isn't that cute? I think it's a great, great idea. Okay, now this kit I fell in love with as soon as I saw it. Maybe it's because I live out here in Arizona. And I am just going to take it out of the bag and flip it over so you can see it. This kit is also generic, and it's a, it's a mission with the cactuses, growing up in California with all the missions all over the place, going on field trips when I was a kid in school. I love the way it has so much color. It's got the, it's very modern with the sky and the color just, wow. I saw this, it was like, yes, no doubt about it. I have to get this. So let's look at the pattern really quick. We've got the same instructions on here. And I can tell you right now, this pattern is big. Same instructions as the last kit. Move that out of the way. Let's see how big these are. Okay, this pattern, let's see if I can pull that back a little bit. 
is massive. This pattern is absolutely massive. It is very clearly printed. This has 47 colors. Very easy to read. I love this picture. So it is an 11 count. I wish it came in 14 because I'm kind of liking 14 better, but I like the picture. It's a 40 by 56 centimeter with 148 stitches across, 217 stitches down. It is also gridded. Both these kits were made by the same company. I just call them the generic company. Over here when we look at, we've got the picture up here, we've got your legend with the number of your floss, the symbols you'll find on here. And the symbols do match. So you've got your fabric here and you can see that the symbols on the fabric match the symbols on your pattern, which makes it great. You've got your number of your floss, your symbol, your DMC code, and then a color chart. This is identical, except it doesn't have the color chart. So, yeah, there is some confetti, but so much color blocking that this should make it a lot easier and quicker to do. I just can't get over that picture. I just love that picture. Let's look at the fabric itself, and we'll get a measurement on the size of it. Beautifully serged edges. And I wanted to see if this pattern is as big as the picture. Okay. Put this on top of it. And you can see down here, I've got that pretty much lined up there and pretty much lined up here. I'm thinking this pattern is as big as the actual picture itself, which is fantastic. I just love that they do that. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's look at the fabric itself. Now this is stiff, but not super, super stiff. This will get so much softer. I don't put this in a hoop. I just hold it in my hand and sew it. Let's take a look at the symbols on here. It looks like every symbol is staying in its own spot, its own little square. It's not bleeding over into its neighbors, which is good because I've thrown kits out that have done that really badly because it was just, I didn't want to deal with it. It was just too much. But this is going to be so pretty. Let's see. They gave us another little toolkit. with the threader and the thimble and the puffy, this time an orange one with five needles. Great little bags, reusable. I would use these for diamond painting gem, uh, diamonds, drills, because they're numbered, which could come in really handy. You could also put a sticker on it too. Great, great bags. I'm grateful that they supply these with their kits. Very grateful. Nicely packaged floss, separately from everything else. It does have the item number on it, and so did the other one. And why is that important? Should your canvas get separated from your floss, you have got this on here that tells you which kit it goes to, which canvas it goes to, which is really important. And if you get it like this and it doesn't have a sticker, put one on and just write the item number down on it. Okay, wow, look at the orange. That just screams hello. So we got a big hank of some beautiful orange here. What number is this? 40 strands in here. And it is 740 DMC code. 740. So this is going to go, it's going to be floss number 11. Anywhere you see 11 is where this is going to go. Now the other colors, these are so jewel tone. They're very rich and deep and vibrant colors. I have a, you know, I have a second bedroom and I call it my Southwest room because of where I live. And I have all kinds of like Southwestern stuff in there and Indian pottery and stuff. And 
I think if I did this picture and hung it up in that room, it would just be perfect, perfect. Look at these colors. My goodness sakes. We've got some teal greens and some blues, some reds and, oh my good, the greens are something else. Then we've got on this side, we've got purples and fuchsias and orange and yellow, tan, more blues. And then turquoises, browns. Is there black in here? Yes, that's number four. So actually, it's only this much black, not a whole lot. And I don't think there's any backstitching on this. I could be wrong. I'm going to look really quick because I want to see. But I don't think that there is. No, there isn't. All these black lines are actually a row of stitches. Oh, goodness sakes, that is just going to be so beautiful with these amazing, amazing colors. I just love this kit. The price of this kit will also be down below in the description. I am sorry that I don't have that information to give to you right now, but if you don't mind taking a look down there, you'll see it along with a link to the actual item. I love this picture very much. I am going to use a lot of self-control and not start it until I can get something else done. You all sending me your pictures of your projects has really, really helped me with saying no to starting new uh, projects, new cross stitches, and to sticking with what I've already started and actually getting it done. Because I see the quality of the work you're doing. I see the beauty of completed pictures and yes it's always so much fun to start a new project but I would like more completed projects too and you all are really really helping me with that so what we got today recap is this gorgeous mission picture some great plastic floss organizers a very very cool threader cutter and then our beautiful watercolory Hey, Dringa. Oh, so pretty. Just absolutely beautiful. The softness of that picture is gorgeous. I will be putting uh, pictures of both of these in the video for you to see them a little bit better. If you like this video, could you please hit the like button? It makes a massive difference with YouTube's algorithm. I would really, really appreciate it. I hope you all have a great weekend. Have fun. Enjoy the good weather if you have it. Love your family. Take care. God bless. And I'll be talking to you soon. Bye.